You hold the women's world record for diving at altitudes, both scuba and free diving. So I have to ask, what can you describe the details of those records? I never looked for those. I I'm not after records at all. In fact, I didn't know I had broken those records when that happened. Um, I, we did that as part of our expedition, our scientific expedition. So it's basically sport in the name of science versus sport. No, it's science in the name of science. And it's just a very physical thing that you have to do. So we train ourselves like athletes. Yeah. But to get the job done. To get the job done. You're holding your breath underwater for a very long time, like with, with free diving. What What are we talking about? Do you, t do you think in terms of time? Is there like layers where you know through training, you're in a good place? Like, I'm sure you take time off and you get rusty, right? <laughs> yes, I, and I have, I have not been diving in a while, so probably I need to go back to, you know, the uh, drawing board and yeah. uh, the bottom of the swimming pool. But having <laughs> training from the past, I think, you know, it will pick up much more faster yes. than... Um, basically, I would never, at those altitudes, I would never go over three minutes. That would be suicidal. <laughs> so the altitude is much tougher than the pool back at ground level. It is, but it's, oh, it's not. because when you come up and yes, you have to get that's the That's not the going in the water. When I'm underwater, I'm fine. And if I wanted, I could stay longer, but it wouldn't be very wise. 